I stay at the Caesar Park Hotel in Taipei. Renowned for its swimming pool, Instagram models and beautiful scenery. I'm sharing with you all of the facility, the rooms, the bathrooms, even the breakfast. And I want to see if you think it is a worthy five star rating. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. If you like them little swerving introductions, makes me laugh. Anyway, today I'm going to the Caesar Park Hotel, which is based in Banchow. I stayed at this hotel a couple of years ago, many times, but now the price has gone up double since after COVID. So it's based on a five star rating, which I'll go through later. And the good thing is, it's really close to that MRT station, Banchow. Now, the building itself is actually shared with the Hilton Hotel. They share the same pool, they have two different gyms, but basically I've stayed at both and the rooms are not that much different. The Hilton is a bit more expensive. I'll go through the costings later. I'm here already, let's have a look. I'm gonna try and get an early check-in. I don't know how successful I will be so I can get in the pool. Now, this is one of my favorite hotels around Taipei because the pool is kind of like an IG hotel kind of style. IG Instagram where people go and they take photos and videos, which is great. I like to see that. And there's one time when people were doing OnlyFans people. Two girls were doing OnlyFans on the poolside. So they had their ass hanging out. <laughs> Families were walking past, they were dancing. I call it dog food eating or dog food grouping, whatever it's called, because people will do anything you tell them to, like eat dog food and cat food. Anyway, so yeah, this is why Caesar Park is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna see how much it's changed, like I said, in the last couple of years. Let's go and see if I can get checked in. actually at 2.30, not 3 o'clock, which is great. So I've just come for a quick bathroom break before I check in. Bathroom's super nice, but you don't need heated seats when you sat in the toilet, sweating. So got booked in. I was first in the queue because I suffer with a bit of apprehension about queuing up and stuff. Now I've got a little bit of a, a tactic. I'm gonna go and put some objects on there's some beds around the pool first, then I'm going to check into the room. I'm pretty sure this is 2819, but it only goes to 2817. I'm walking around like a backpacker, first time in a five star hotel. Let me ask. So, what we've got here, we've got the doorbell. Looks like this is fob here, yeah. Lights come on automatically. Mirrors everywhere. Now, let's just have a quick look round before I show you. Master lights on and off, okay. So this is an elite room, an elite double room. And as you can see, it's quite, elite here so quick run through nice area security box towels no dressing gowns you don't need it because it's going to be hot this is a bathroom absolutely beautiful let's turn it on here so we've got two sinks walk-in shower a toilet 
and a bad fear with a huge tap. Now, the funny thing about this is, at least the glass isn't facing the bedroom. However, <laughs> the glass does look very nice and is very see-through if you was coming as a two-person party. But this is very nice. We'll have a closer look in a minute. Let's go and take a look now into the living room. There you go. Look, if you actually look at the room size itself, the room itself isn't that big, as you can see. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like the website. The website had a separate chair, uh, a sofa. So it looks like most of the room space is taken up with the bathroom, which is very nice, by the way. But it looks like, yeah, most of it is taken up by the bathroom and then there's not much space in the middle here. And you've got the mini bar area, nice big screen. The screen is actually huge, to be honest, to be fair. Perfect for a little bit of work. Now this is meant to be a city view. I'm quite high up because it's elite. Let's have a look at the view of the city. Open it up and it is an absolutely beautiful view. Look at this. So we're on Ban Chow. So as you come into Ban Chow, you start coming out of Taipei into New Taipei City. You can see the mountains, scenery. And this is actually the view from the swimming pool as well. Gorgeous. Let's have a look. First things first, if there is anything in here or if it's just a refrigerator. Now, normally, oh yeah, they've got a couple of sport drinks, which is pretty random. They might have been left in. Now, normally, they are empty. You just bring your own things from 7-Eleven, which I've done. Some nice glasses here. What we've got here, we've got some coffee, mate. Extra sugar. This is tea. Jing Sheng Yu. Which is meant to be a good make. Classico. Ah, oh, espresso. Okay, good. And some very, very nice glasses, I must say, with a little cute coffee machine. And a kettle. And some complimentary waters. We actually got some waters by the swim pool as well. And some wine glasses. I'll put these out just in case. I might need one. Let's close this up. And then here, you've got a nice clock, notepad, telephone. Now it's nice because the telephone looks in fashion with the hotel and surroundings. I'm actually still sweating from that heated toilet seat earlier. Let's jump on the bed and see what it feels like. Beautiful. It's quite soft, but that's how I like it. And the pillows are amazing as well. Not going to need the quilt. And these little pillows here look like they're probably not changed, although I'm sure they are. Pillows, one huge one. And a small one here. Oh. And I'm not being funny. This is as comfy as anything you'll get. I've been to a lot of hotels and a lot of places. This is super comfy. If I can't sleep well tonight and not dream about earthquakes, then something is wrong. Just looking at the TV now, uh, there is Apple TV, Netflix and Disney as well. So it's really difficult for me to read Chinese, but it's been some trial and error. So going through here, as you can see, let's have a little try on the sofa here. Oh, sofa also good. It would have been nice. I've been to a hotel before in Taipei where the sofa is across the window. And you know what? Is there anything to say I can't move it across the window? Oh, I might do that later, it's a bit heavy. Anyway, so that's the room. Let's go and look in the bathroom. Now, I see you walk with me, Tim. I'm a big fan, not that he'll be watching this. 
But what we need, Tim always checks out inside, inside the bathroom. In the bathroom, the shower. So let's take a little look here. Nice space. You can literally fit one, two, three, four, five, five of me. Although I'm a little chubby bugger. They've got, which is great in a lot of hotels, a washing line, but it doesn't have anywhere to, oh, and you hook it across. There you go. So you could live in here if you wanted to, but it will cost you more than a house. We've got some nice soapless shampoo here. Guest rooms only, see, no one else. Shower gel, not that I need any hair gel. The only thing what's missing is the shower. Wouldn't it be great if you had one of them what came up from the roof, came up, came down from the roof. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll have to complain on the way out. This is meant to be an elite room. If we're gonna be an elite room, let's be elite about it. And look, everyone loves these Japanese toilets, but for me, especially in a different country, it's got so many buttons. I mean, what's that? Water up arse? And what's this? Different water spray when you're sitting on it and temperature. So it's all well and good having that, but you're gonna get some water sprayed in the wrong area. And then you've got one of these constipation foams if you get stuck on there, which again, uh, it's in English which is useful. Shit, have I just broken the... I was only joking about being a heavy hippopotamus, but yeah, let's have a look here. Makeup desk. What's inside here? Nothing. I forgot to check. Do we get any... Ah, they said that, yeah. Oh, there's some soap. They said they're trying to save the environment so they don't give anything for free now. Uh, let me call them and check. So I haven't brought any toothbrush or razor to shave my head. Okay, let's give them a call. Right, operator, dial nine, room to room, no, long distance, no. Should we try operator? Ah, oh, what room am I, what room number? Right. Operator number nine. See, I'm already putting the office to good use. Uh, ni hao, koi ingwen ma? Uh, reception, please. Oh, so dubushi, dubushi, uh, house, housekeeping. How, uh, ah, ba, i, chi. 2817. I, I'm just looking for uh, some uh, toothpaste and toothbrush and razor. Ah, re reception. Ah, Mounty, Mounty, how? How? Shishini, Shishin. Bye bye. So they call these amenities. I thought amenities were like the amenities, like facility. So I'm going to get a tissue, sweating. So they said, you just have to order at reception. I should have done that on the check-in. I already bothered them with so many, so much talk, just trying to be polite. Anyway, let's get to the pool.
from the swimming pool had a great time, weather was great, but there was another earthquake. Luckily or unluckily, I wasn't in the pool. I was about to get in and then I just saw this wave machine start all of a sudden. Anyway, so I come back up to the room and because there wasn't anything in the bar and I don't think they cook any food, they do have restaurant. And as a guest of the hotel, you get 20% off the Thai restaurant they have and also 20% off bar 98. So the coffee shop and the bar, which is bar 98, and also 20% off Jian Chinese restaurant. Okay, so you get 20% off all the restaurants. So what I've done, I've, I brought a, a can of Taiwan beer and use one of the glasses, I bought some, some crisps, and I'm just gonna relax, I'm gonna do some work, enjoy the sun, almost gone down now, looking at the mountains, and then I might go for a walk later on. They did finally bring me some accessories, what are amenities as they called it. They brought me two toothbrushes with a little bit of toothpaste and some, don't know what that is, shower cap, earbuds, tissue and some dental floss no razor and also previously before they used to give you a load of moisturizing uh, lotion body lotion face wash you know everything what a five-star hotel should have so yeah that, that's a shame also i had to ask for some more towels as well they gave me two but normally you've got like a big selection so it just feels like you're paying a lot more and getting a lot less. Morning everyone, the gym opens at 6am, it's 6.20, so I haven't done bad. Quick workout, then another swim, then a bit of breakfast. I'm gonna stop talking because music will be on. Don't wanna get copyright dry. Nothing beats a morning workout and a morning swim before breakfast. I'm gonna smash some, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna smash. Egg, bacon, and whatever else they have. Let's go.
come down to breakfast, when you walk in, the restaurant itself looks very, very nice. Unfortunately, materialistically, that hides away the food on offer. I must say I'm not absolutely impressed. Look, yeah, it's Asian orientated, many South Koreans and other Asian countries. This is what I could find in terms of Western style. Scrambled egg, egg, and the chicken sausage, which isn't always great, which they do in Asia. They've got a place for, I can't eat that. They've got a place for the bacon, but I've waited about 20 minutes now and there's still been no bacon cooked. So that's the Western style choice. And then they've got a load of rice, pumpkin, onion rings, chicken fries, chicken nuggets, and then they've got some cabbage and steam buns and dumplings as well. Look, the coffee looks okay, there's a range of juice. They have got a cheese board and, and some toast. But again, for the additional price and for a five-star hotel, I think this has got to be better, in my opinion. Let's talk about prices now. So for one night stay, you could, if you want, have up to two people. It was £120 for the night, and that was for an elite double room. I could have just got a normal premier or a normal double room, which would have been around £20 cheaper. And to be honest, I should have done that in terms of the elite room, just gives you the extra kind of makeup area with the hairdryer, that little area there, which obviously I don't need. And previously I've had just a, a a basic double room before and it was good enough nice bathroom nice uh, living area in the bedroom area and as you saw this time round, that living area was just a little bit smaller the view was very good so also the extra price was for the uh, higher floor view so we're on 31st floor here now on the rooftop where the swimming pool is and the, the gymnasium is I was on the 28th floor so great view excellent what has also been changed and look as with almost all if not all hotels in taipei across the city new taipei city as well the quality has dropped and the price has increased and just for little things you know like five star hotel okay 120 pound you pay the same in the uk and you get a travel lodge which is horrible here you get a nice pool and a nice hotel however if you are a five-star hotel you then got to offer what you used to offer like all the body lotion hand creams face cream stuff like this as you saw before I did eventually get a toothbrush but I had to keep going downstairs to get something else even calling reception they say they will not bring it up I have to go down and get it so it looks like they're trying to save money and make it hassle for people to keep going up and down, up and down, which really, a five-star hotel, and it's not a sense of entitlement, it's a sense of you're paying for a service, and you should really get the service you pay for. That's my belief anyway. So, okay, apart from that, the room, bathroom, everything, nice. Should I just got a normal basic double? Yes. Then moving on to the breakfast, I have to say very, very disappointed. The other Caesar Hotel, so the Caesar Metro, which I also did a video about. The breakfast was better, but everything else got worse. And here the breakfast was terrible. I walked in, and this is the first time I've had breakfast at this hotel. I walked in, I thought, wow, this is going to be good. You know, it's looking nice. And then it's like the, on the outset, the materialistic thing, and you start getting a closer look at the detail, and it was terrible. As you saw, the eggs were just smashed in. I couldn't get a fried egg because it was all just mixed together into one big trashy fried egg. The choice, they had fried onion rings and chicken nuggets. And then, as I said when I was eating it, it is more directed at Asian clientele, which is fine, but even the quality of the rice, the cabbage was very poor. The cheese was terrible cheap cheese cheap yogurt the bread has been frozen and then defrosted i can tell it is horrible bread and the crackers the crackers were milk milk cookies what babies have what what kids have 
the juice, the orange juice was the aeroplane juice. It wasn't natural orange juice. The same with all of the juices. And the sausages, you saw the state of the sausages. The coffee, the latte, I had a latte after. It was very bad. I did eventually get the bacon. I originally said I didn't get any, but they did bring it out and the bacon was okay. But the breakfast, so going on 220 pounds for the night. So it was around 4,000 seven hundred empty dollars the breakfast was an additional 14 or 15 pounds on top of that now for that breakfast if you want to put that inside the original price okay i'd accept it but not for an extra 15 pound another 600 NT dollar it's not worth it and like all the other places the quality has come down you can't say this is a five star either i made a mistake i've stayed at the hilton before and I should have stayed at the Hilton again. But look, as you can see, the pool is beautiful. The staff, excellent. Nice surroundings, nice environment. You can't complain. The breakfast was a letdown. The toiletries, the bathroom toiletries was a letdown. But other than that, I would pay for a lower level room and it would be worth it just for the pool. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to check out how this compares with the price to a Barakai Hotel, or the other Caesar Hotel in Taipei, Caesar Metro, click on these videos now.